Oh, ladies and gentlemen, we are in a new state today, Omaha, Nebraska. And today we are with the greatest short game coach of all time, James Siegman. And we're gonna be focusing on, I personally believe one of the most important things on golf, the 40, 50, 60, and all these shots under hundred yards. And so with that, let's get into it. Oh, I'm gonna be in the square. Okay. So, that flew 137 yards. Oh, love. All right, so if you think you hit it 125, yeah. you just hit it 12 yards over the green and made a double bogey, right? Yeah. So you did not hit it 125, you hit it 137. That was pure, that's as good as you're gonna go, right? Yeah. Let's get our full swing number with every club. Okay. Get yeah. your gap wedge, that's step one. I'll write them down. Now All listen, right. San Diego sea level will go a touch shorter. We're at about, Maybe almost a thousand feet here. Okay. Maybe not quite. Eight or nine hundred. I think I was hitting one twenty-eight before this swing change, <laughs> but we'll see. Yeah, well, your guy did a good job then. There you go. That was less. One twelve. What was the one prior? I had one twenty-six. Hit another one again. Pulls go far though, so it's not one twenty-six. Pushes go short. That's for you. Yeah. That's, so it's not 112, it's somewhere between those two. Okay, one more. Wait till you hit one just so. All right, so you need to use your pelvis more so you don't hit the ball so high. Yeah, that's what I'm Right, but so just double down on what your guy was telling you. All right, so let's just go uh, 124. Yeah. I would never hit that full because it just goes too high. Yep. All right, you gotta hit some sort of like small pitching wedge to go the same distance. All right, yeah. sand wedge please, full. And I'm not even gonna let you hit your lob wedge full. I'm just gonna write a big X on it. Like, do not do do not hit this. Okay. All right. So sandwich full. Okay, that's probably a little short because the face was open. Yeah, it was slightly. Oh, a little short. A little thin. Let me hit it one more. All right, that'll be reasonable right there. Probably add a couple yards to it because if well, the face is open, the path is drifting over that way, right? Yeah. I'll just say low hundreds, maybe? Yeah. 102? Or two. All right. We'll start with that club. Oh, actually, uh, we'll start with your lob wedge. I want you to go, we need to bring that flight down. I want you to put a little more weight on your front foot. Now, just in your on these little distance wedge shots, okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you're going to go a little narrower stance, 55 left. You're going to turn. I want you to pivot but i want you to keep 55 left because it's going to be a small swing and if you get too much to the right you're going to hit behind it all right yeah. you, just, you don't have enough time to get left again yeah and then i want you to land more left and be rotating so if you can try and get this shaft leaning forward mm -hmm. but that's not my hands it's not like i'm doing that it's it's my pelvis that's creating that yeah and then smooth positive maybe up to your shoulder and let's just see how far it goes that would probably be like a 70% swing, maybe? Yeah. All right, let's do one swing together. 55 left, turn, pivot, take it back to left arm parallel, let's say. Left arm parallel. Yeah, and you're on that left side, right? Yeah. Land more left, and bam, 70%. Fair enough? Yep. Got it. All right, this is a bad shot, it's my fault, you do it. We'll get a number. I'm just gonna ask you what the speed is at the end, that's it. 55 left, miss the stick. There you go. Now you see how that lowers the flight? Yeah. It's also going to lower the spin, which is great. Keep going. Okay. Even though 8,300 spins plenty for a 65 yard shot. So that's going to give us our one hop and stop, all right? Mm -hmm. Same thing. 55 left, left arm parallel, 70%. Land and turn. A little behind it. Decent. A little behind coming in over here. Uh, in contact. No contact. So yeah. you got a 65 and a 61. We're starting to say, hey, I do this one swing with my lob wedge. When I go to parallel and I do my thing and I'm smooth, yeah. it goes 65 or whatever, right? It's yeah. the one thing I want you to develop. I want you to own this yardage. Got a little short of my stick that time. Yeah, and that's probably like 50, 48, yep. Yep. You got to go left arm parallel, okay? Set your wrist, just like always, left arm parallel, smooth, positive, okay? A little pass, left arm parallel. Yeah, I gotta keep feeling it's less than. And then whatever your guy tells you for the open face, you gotta double down on that. Yeah. 
If you want me to step in, I will. It's not in the box. Yeah, right now, because of the change, I, sometimes when I go like this, it ends up becoming a little open. Then you rotate that, it's called alpha force. You <clears throat> twist that left arm down. And so, would I still do that with the strong grip that I have? Yes, as long as the ball's going to the right. Okay. The rotation of the, the face through impact, that's one of the things you're gonna do in addition to the rotation of your body to square the face. Mm -hmm. There's always face rotation. There you go. Good job, left arm parallel. Hang in there, face is a little close, so that means it's gonna go a little far. Yeah. Decent? Decent. Face might have just touch open. What was the distance? 55. Okay, keep going. As soon as we get three or four in a row that look the same, we'll write it down. Okay. How far is that? 63. Say? Pardon me? 63. Good. So I got a question for you. So if the device says you gave it 63 yards of energy, yeah. and I've lasered those yardage signs and they're correct, and it lands by the 60, what's that tell you? Uh, there's wind? Yes. Yeah. In this environment, a 63-yard shot's only going to travel 60. That's a skill you have to develop mm -hmm. on the golf course. It's called normalizing a number. You got to do that on every single shot. Yeah. You know, and people are so bad at it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's deflated. A little out of sequence, but it's okay. What'd that say? 60. All right, let's just go with 63. Get your uh, sand wedge out, which is your 56-degree wedge. All right, the same swing that produces 63 with that club is going to produce something different with this club, right? Yep. You got to try and hold yourself accountable to the same feeling. Mm -hmm. If it looks weird, I'll make you get that club out again and give me another 63. 63? No. Same swing. Oh, okay, got it. It might go 73. It might go 78. I don't know. It's left arm parallel, the weight left, landing, turning at 70% or whatever you were feeling. That was the best one. How far did it go? 69. Okay. Is it about 70% or 80%? What can you tell me? That, I felt 40%. All right, that's... <laughs> and it ended up becoming like 60%. All right, well, let's, let's get to 70%. Yeah. Face was a little open. A little, yeah. Okay, I liked it. Give me a number. 74. Let's just... Go with that one. All right, put that one away. Get your A wedge out. Ah, uh, a little open. So the pass a little out to end, which is uh, why the ball's curving to the right and why you hit those on the heel, right? Yep. So let's, uh, I'm gonna teach you a different way to shift your weight, okay? So okay. go ahead and set up. You keep getting too close to the thing too. Sorry. Take it back to nine o'clock and stop. So there's a pivot. You're gonna take your right hip. You're gonna keep it behind you. You're gonna land land on that left leg before you rotate. Mm -hmm. If you're here and you rotate early, mm -hmm. that club's popping out. Yeah. So go ahead and set up. 55 left, boom. Right hip behind you and land. Now rotate, all right? Mm -hmm. The right hand grips is so strong too. I know. We're in the all right. <laughs> process of moving the way. All right, come on. So you're gonna push your right hip towards your left heel. Okay. Mm. That's better. So watch my watch my uh, watch my butt. All right. I got that stick on it. I've rotated. If I'm on a wall there, my right hip's on the wall. Ready? Yep. I gotta land left. I didn't go this way. I went this way first before I did that thing, right? Yeah. So right hip behind you and pushing, keep it behind and push, there you go. All right, good right hand grip, please. Progress, keep going. Progress, tell me how far that ball went. 92. How much? 92. Perfect. I got one thing in my office where I can teach you this pressure through your feet a little bit more effectively, which I'm going to grab, but we're going to count that one. Get your pitching wedge, make the same swing. It's not going to go 92, should go maybe like 105. 
and it's just so that you can develop a sensation for how you're going to land on that left side. Mm -hmm. If you rotate early, it's going back to your heel early. Okay? So I'm going to put that right under the ball of my left foot. I'm going to turn and go to 9 o'clock. I'm going to push into the squishy and with this right hip behind it. So if you see that? Yep. Where's the weight? Ball of my foot. Then when I rotate, it goes to my heel. Mm -hmm. You're going. So I want to land and then push, OK? Yeah. It's tough to feel on this mat for some reason. It's frustrating. All right. Take it to nine. Yeah. Now, now, boom, right? Yeah. So the rotation moves the weight to the heel, but when you land, you got to land on the ball of that left foot. All right, foot. and with your right hip behind you. Go slower, go slower. Do it in pieces. Right hip more behind you. Right, right hip. When way. you land, yeah. No, no, you're going like this. I'm saying land with your right hip behind you. No, he did it wrong again. <laughs> Take it up and stop. Right. Is your right hip behind you? Yes. Keep it behind you and land. Oh, like this way. Oh. Keep it behind you and land. Now, obviously, that's a ginormous exaggeration. But you're rotating like too way. early. Now, you want your hips to rotate first, right? Yeah. But I'm saying you want some horizontal force first. Yeah, you want that. Yeah, then that. Exactly. So if you ro rotate too early, then the club's going to pop out. All right. Do the best you can. You got the feeling. Go ahead and hit your shot. Nine o'clock, please. Yeah, bingo. And we said it was going to go 105, and that went 107, and so that's probably about right. Yeah. And so now we have our top, top line. Now, the reality is we need to fill down to about 50 yards because inside 50, we were finessing, right? Yep. So we just need to do that with a little smaller swing now. So start over with your lob wedge. Let's build these bottom numbers, and essentially we're going to be done. And then you got at least enough done where you can go do some homework. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right. So can I do one? Yep. Please. This time we're going to go. Listen, if you take it back fast, it's going too far. And we're trying to build a shot that's maybe 35, 40, 45, something in that range. Yep. So I'm saying choke down a little, 55 left. I'm saying super slow backswing. It's good that you're setting your wrist early because we want to stop right about hip high. We still want to land and push. And now instead of 70%, it might be 50%. So I'll try and do one. Slow, set, rotating. Now that's a 40 yard shot. You know, if I could get anything under 50 would be great. Okay. Choke down just a hair. First six, no, no, you just took it back way too far. Let's do this whole thing again. Yes. Choke down, narrow stance. Lean at 55, yeah, it's there. Push across. All right, and you're gonna finish up by maybe your logo on your shirt. Slow, boom, push across, turn. Yes. Now, it wasn't quite in rhythm. It looked a little jerky. So just yeah. try the same thing a little smoother, okay? Yep. But that went 48 yards. Do you see how low it was? Yeah. That's kind of what we want, I think. Push and rotating. All right, and that's a little too held off. Go ahead and rehinge this thing, at least, let's say, maybe up to here. Okay. Fair? Less than a punch shot, basically, yeah. It's not a punch shot, yeah. Yeah. It won't stop. Mm -hmm. Good. Maybe just a touch too far in the back swing, but I loved it. Yeah. Love to have a swing I can do in my sleep that's 45 yards. Yeah, that was 44. Yeah. All right, let's do it again. Okay, good. How about we call that your belly button swing? Yeah. Fair enough? Yep. Oh, your belly button swing goes what, 44 yards? That was, yeah, 42, 44. Let's put 44 down. And don't hold it off. It's not a punch shot. You can rehinge up to your logo. Yeah, there, right there. One more time. Belly button swing, please, at about 50%. I like that flight better, actually. I know it's a little further because of it. How far did it go? 52. Okay, that's touched too far, but that's the idea. One more. High 40s would be great. Okay, gotcha. Loved it. All right. Like 50? 
51, yeah. All right, I'm gonna put 48 down. We'll just learn, that was face was a little turned down. Yeah. All right, same swing, different club. This time we're gonna put an X on the pitching wedge. It's gonna go too low, right? Yeah. All right, so Six. we gotta get 56 and A. Same swing. Hang okay. in there, close club face, and it's chunked. Keep that backswing slow. This makes like belly button backswing to like mid chest through, right? Mm -hmm. Belly button to chest. Good. Touch too far back, but that's the idea. What was that, about 50? 45. Okay. We just gotta develop some consistency, right? Yeah. This one, if the other one goes 48, this one should probably go 58. There you go. Perfect. How far did that go? 55. All right, let's go 55. And I'm going to cheat the other one down to 45. Let's get a last number. I'll take a little one minute break in my office, okay? Yep. Same swing, I'm guessing by the other numbers, it's going to go 60. 70. Five. <laughs> 70. Let's see it. Belly button to chest. Little fat. That was 70 on the dot though. How many? 70. Well, that was a call shot, wasn't it? <laughs> 77 yards to that first yellow pin. Right over here, on that green. Fair? This one right here. Yeah. Yes, sir. You're gonna land at 75 yards. It feels like a sand wedge, right? Yeah, sand. Let me coach you up. You pull out of your bag, it's like, oh. This is 70%. No, oh, yeah, 70, nine o'clock, 70% goes 74. We're gonna try and land at 75. I'm gonna say the wind's doing nothing. It's a perfect nine o'clock swing, right? Yep. Can I do one? Yeah, of course. All right, let's say it's one over, all right? I'm back here before the walk, and I'm going, okay, sand wedge one over. Boom, bam. <laughs> Visualize, walk in looking at it, thinking 75. Play golf. Try not to think. Feel, yeah. okay, all right, let's see it, 75. Oh, and knowing that your nine o'clock goes 75 kind of helps you do 77, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that is. <laughs> All right, next target. Do we get to go 77 again? I can do 77 again. Never, never, <laughs> random. Oh, I thought you Ran, said, no, can no, I do no, it? No, 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 okay. Let's go 97 yards down the sign. Doesn't feel like a sandwich anymore to me. Yeah. Feels like an A wedge, doesn't it? Yeah, that's what I usually hit. Well, it depends on the environment, environment again. Yeah. 98 yard carry, let's say, is what? Seven, uh, 98. Six more, seven. six more. Rehearse six more. You don't even know what that is, it's a feeling. Come back, visualize. Yeah, man. So to me, it's like knowing, now it was 92, let's yeah. say. That's got to grow your skill, mm -hmm. but that's actually a pretty good shot. Uh, being organized in your, what shot and the design of your shot is so critical because that's, that's the only way you're going to be committed when you get over it, right? Yeah. All right, now yesterday we hit a finesse shot in that net. Do you remember that? Yep. With our feet like this and a sequence where we just kind of let the club go and then we came around. Yep. Now we're going to hit a distance wedge in there. We can hit either one. Okay. Feels like a lob wedge. It's exactly 50 yards. Oh, five over your belly button to chest. You could also do that with an open face and hit a little higher if you wanted. And this one, last one's choked up a little bit. Yes, sir. Yep. Very nice. All right, instead of 50, it probably flew about 55. Yeah. So a little slower? Yeah. Maybe it wasn't quite 50%. Yeah, it's like 60. All right, there you go. You got, you know how you're gonna get better? Do these. Random practice, yeah. yeah. All right, last one. Sure. Let's hit it uh, 109. I'm starting to feel a puff of wind against, aren't you? Pitching wedge? Pitching wedge. What do you think? 109, what do you think 109's playing into that little puff of wind? Or that way? I it feels think. just like a little more this way all of a sudden. Maybe I'm gonna say instead of 113? Yeah, 113. Oh, that's six more than your nine o'clock. Yeah, I got it. All right, come on, run your process. 
Oh, all of a sudden you're a champ. It's really not that hard. Yeah, that was like well, one night. Once you get a plan, right? Okay, let's <laughs> yeah. get one in on. Now I got uh, Now I start with the old man lecture, I'll finish with one. You know, rule number two is get value from your training time. Mm -hmm. Typically, I'd be like, is this how you practice? No. And the answer is, of course not. All you gotta do is turn around and look down the range. Everybody's either just doing what they always do, no routine, they either don't know what they're doing from a technique perspective or all they're thinking about is technique, technique, technique. It's yeah. not like shot making. Yeah. Get your baseline, check your numbers, get the feel. All right, be a shot maker. Change every time. Change clubs, walk in, get your mind right before every shot. Because that's what you got to do to be a good player out there. Does that make sense? 100%, yeah. Okay, good. You'll get that when you read the, through those notes, okay? okay. That'll make, that'll awesome. back that up. All right, thanks, buddy. Thanks. It's a pleasure, man. Yeah, man. This is amazing. Let's go! Let's go!